In this video, we are going to continue with area enclosed by a curve and a line or by two curves. You will find this on page 335 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The diagram shows the curve, okay, there's the curve, it's a cubic, the function. The curve has a maximum point at 1 and 4 and a minimum point on the x-axis at b, at b3 and 0, okay, I think this is very important. Okay, the normal to the curve at C, 2 and 2, okay, it's also important, meaning that this will be 2, at 2 and 2 meets the normal at the curve at B at the point 3 and 2 and a third, then I showed you everything. Okay, find the area of the shaded region. Now, just check, the shaded region is that just that little part. Okay, how do we do that? Now, if we look in this figure, now I'll show you with a straight line. We first focus on this figure. What, what kind of figure is that? That's a trapezium. Why is it a trapezium? Because that lines, what will that lines be? That lines will be parallel. Okay, so what is the, the formula for the area of a trapezium? Half height, so what will be the height? It will be that distance. So it will be the distance between 2 and 3, which will just be 1. And then the parallel sides, don't forget, if I want to, so this is from 0 to 2, so that parallel side will be 2, and that parallel side will be to 2 and a third. Okay, so this is the value that I will get. It's 2 and 1 over 6. Okay, now... I'm going to work out this gray area, the area underneath this curve from 2 and 3. So 3 and 2, and then this is the formula. I integrate, I substitute, and I get 3 quarters. And what do I do with the 2? I just take the trapezium and I subtract this gray part, this area underneath this curve between 2 and 3. And then I'm left with this part. And that's how you do it. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, try now 23, I want you to do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So let's read. The diagram shows part of the curve, there's the curve and the points 1 and 7, so there's the point 1 and 7, and B, 4 and 0, okay, which lie on the curve. The tangent to the curve at B, now where is the tangent? Let me just show you. There is the tangent. Okay, so the tangent to the curve at B intersects the line x equals 1. So this will be the line x equals 1 at the point C. Okay, find the coordinate of C. So let's start. Number A. So before we can find that coordinate, we must, we must first find the equation of the tangent. Then we can solve these two equations simultaneously to find that point C. Okay, but let's first get the equation of the, the tangent. Okay, I'm going to find the equation of the tangent. Okay, now first, what is your formula? Your formula is going to be just y equals 8 over square root x minus x, which we're first going to get in the correct form. So it's negative for half. We take out of the root and we take up minus x. Now, we are going to differentiate, not integrate, because gradient is differentiation. We want to find the gradient first of this tangent at that at, at the curve and the tangent it will be the same so we're going to say dy by dx we work with this one so it's 8 multiply negative a half x and remember if it's negative a half and we subtract 2 over 2 
it's going to be negative 3 over 2 and this is 1 times that it's just going to be negative 1. Okay. So if we simplify this, we are going to be negative 4. I think it's best if we take it back to, so take it to, to the denominator. There's the 2, then it's x to the power of 3. Don't forget your minus 1. Okay, so what is your, what is your point? Your point is, let's go, oh, B. B, what's the point B where we want to find that tangent? 4. So, we are going to say at x equals 4, dy by dx, and now we're going to substitute the 4. And don't forget it's a root. Okay, and if we substitute that, it's 4 to the power of 3 is 64, and the square root is 8. So it's going to be negative um, a half minus 1, which is going to give me, what is that gradient going to be? It's going to be negative 3 over 2. And now the equation of the tangent at B, so we say equation of the tangent at B it's going to be it's not the reciprocal because it's, it's not the normal Okay, and this is x1 and this is y1. And if we substitute it in the place of y1, it's 0, um, negative 3 over 2, and then x minus x1, uh, and it's going to be 4. So this is going to be y equals negative 3 over 2x plus, and this is going to give you, Multiply by that 4, it's going to give you a 6. Because it's 12 divided by 2, but it's plus 6. Okay, there, there is now, this is the equation of the tangent at B. Okay, so if I want to find at C, it's actually just solving that simultaneously. So remember, at C, x is equal, oh, should get the pen correct, 1, so, if I'm just going to substitute 1 in there, so y is equal to negative 3 over 2, 1, plus 6. So, that is going to give me 4 and a half. Okay. So, therefore, coordinate of C is going to be that 1 and 4 and 5. Okay. That's what they asked me. The coordinate of C. And now find the area of the shaded region. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can either just say the curve minus the straight line. The exterior is the curve minus the straight line function. So this minus this and then integrate it between, because remember this is 1 and this is 4. But I want you to do it now like the previous example where we make use of a shape. So the other method will be that we take the area underneath this curve and then subtract the triangle. So the one in the teacher's guide will show you the curve minus the straight line but I'm going to show you the one which is the curve area minus the triangle. Okay, um, let's just see what I have to write down. No, I don't think I need that to write down. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to make space. Okay, so this is number B. 
uh, find the area of the shaded region. So I'm going to say area. Area. Between one and four. Okay. So that is going to give me, okay, so it's that four and one. And the formula of the curve is, um, I think I'm going to write it in the form. Can you remember? Let me first write it like this. It was 8 over square root x minus x. But in the previous, I show you, it's 8 and it's x negative a half minus x. So it's 8, oh, let's just get the pen. 8 x negative a half minus x and I'm integrating to x. So that is going to give me, okay, so it's 8, okay, so it's going to be x. Now, it's going to be negative half plus 2 over 2, which is just a half. And I divide by that half. Minus, and this is going to become 2 over 2, and it's going to be 4 and 1. Okay. So, basically, if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to, this is, if I multiply by a half, it's like multiplying 2, so it's just going to give me, Okay, I'm going to put it in, it's not necessary, 16, and it's going to give me, let's take a square root, I think it's going to be better, and this is just going to be x squared over 2, and it's going to be 4 and 1. Okay, and now I'm just going to substitute 16. Okay, and this is going to be 2 times 16, which is 32, minus, this is 4 times, it's going to be 16 divided by 2 minus 8, minus 16 minus a half. Okay, so this one is going to give me 24 minus, and don't forget, this is going to give me 15 and a half. So 24 minus 15 and a half will give me 8.5. 8.5. Okay, now I'm going to say the area of the triangle. And what is the area of a triangle? Because that is a triangle, the red, it's half base times height. Okay, what is the base? Now, don't forget, this is the mm, pen. This is the base, so it's three. What is the height? Now, what was this point? Okay, let me just check, and I'm going to write it for you in. Um, this point, C, from the previous, before I was cleaning, was four and a half. Can you remember? So that up to there will be four and a half. So that that will be four and a half. So multiply. So let's see. Um, it's four and a half times three divided by two will give me 6,75. So therefore, let's just move it up. Therefore, the shaded area is that 8.5 minus the 6.75. So it's the 8.5 minus the 6.75. And that's giving you 
exactly the same as you will see in the teacher's guide. 1.75 units squared. Or if it's as fraction, 1 and 3 quarters units squared. So remember what I said to you. There's two ways of doing it. Um, you can either say the curve minus the straight line and then integrate between 4 and 1. Or you can say the area under the curve and just work with the curve uh, function and but then subtract the red triangle which was giving you that 6.75. That's how you do it.